Hello and welcome. In this video I have a crazy topology for you guys. So uh, as you can see here we are going to configure a hub and spoke and we will keep going exactly where we left off last time. So last time we actually configured point to point over Ethernet between the ISP router and the branch office routers, right? So I have changed the instead of using default route from the branch uh, router to uh, the ISP. I'm actually using a static route that points into the slash 24 right here. So as you can see uh, in general here we have um, uh, BGP as you can see. So we're going to configure actually uh, what I'm doing right there. So uh, I mean, uh, no not you, I mean this, uh, no, sorry. There we go. Yes, this one. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna actually enable BGP. I already set up OSPF. As you can see here, we have uh, OSPF uh, process number one, area zero in here, right? And this will be the hub uh, router. And those they will be uh, spoke, okay, router. So let's say this is the headquarter and those are the branch offices that need to be actually that they need to access the uh, okay that they need to be accessed from the headquarter right so uh, on the ISP basically we're going to run uh, EBGP right as well as a point to point is already configured so uh, we will configure EBGP and then we will actually enable OSPF uh, in different area okay uh, area 51 okay between the branch offices and we'll run OSPF over a tunnel interface that will be actually established between let's delete this gibberish okay yes delete all from last time so uh, yeah sorry uh, what I was saying um, getting ahead of myself so let's uh, tut, 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 okay so uh, yeah exactly so here we have uh, OSPF area 51 right that will run over the tunnel interface okay tunnel interface that will be here will actually establish a tunnel interface between the okay the headquarter and the spoke routers on the branch office right there okay it's uh it's kind of uh, complicated and that's why i said a crazy topology right so the first thing that we need to do we need in order for the tunnel uh, to work between the headquarter and the branch we need some reachability okay uh Okay, we need some reachability of those interfaces. So uh, the headquarter need actually to reach out those interfaces right here in order to establish a okay a tunnel interface. Okay, and then we're gonna configure the uh, I didn't configure the I configured just OSPF area zero in here. Okay, I have a couple of VLANs. Uh, I have a VLAN. Uh, 100 VLAN 200 and VLAN 999 which are actually advertised to the uh, HQ router uh, the multi-layer switch and the headquarter router actually are running OSPF and they establish an adjacency so HQ router learns all this route so what, what we're gonna do I'm gonna delete this gibberish again so we could explain actually uh, the process fully. I hope uh, this will be actually informative uh, because I'm talking about uh, different things at the same time. So what we're gonna do, we are going actually to, uh, after establishing the tunnel interface, right? After establishing the tunnel interface uh, between the headquarter and the branch office routers, what we're going to do, we are going to send a default route, okay, via OSPF to those branch offices, okay? So uh, let's uh, 
go ahead. I think I mentioned everything. So yeah, uh, I didn't actually talk about the... Uh, so uh, we are using autonomous system number uh, 65,000 on the uh, headquarter here. And of course, we are using the uh, autonomous system one, two, three, okay, on the ISP right here, as you can see right there. So we're gonna establish a BGP neighbor relationship between here. And also this guy will send default route, okay, to the headquarter, okay, to the headquarter uh, route right here, okay. So uh, the headquarter would know about those uh, networks via a BGP and then we could establish the uh, tunnel interfaces and just stay tuned uh, there are amazing things that actually will uh, blow your mind okay and let's keep going let's let's start okay I don't know if I'm getting flu or something Okay, uh, I'm gonna hop to the uh, ISP right there. So uh, let's go and do router BGP right there, router BGP, and one, two, three is the process. And let's do no auto summary and no sync right there. So neighbor, the neighbor will be 192.0.2.2 .2 right there. And the remote IS, okay, will be 65,000 like this and uh, I think that's it so let's go back to the um, to the headquarter router uh, I forgot to send the uh, default route so let's say neighbor okay default information or default originate so we could send actually some default routes to the headquarter uh, right here okay um, let's go back to the headquarter and let's actually establish a neighbor relationship so 65,000 as okay the autonomous system number no auto summary and no sync right there and neighbor 192.0.2.1 and the remote is remote is neighbor okay remote is it's uh, one two three right there okay show ip bgp summary as you can see bgp is the slowest protocol in the world but the neighbor came up to show okay bgp summary to show bgp uh, okay, to show BGP. As you can see, we have the default route coming from the ISP router. We are good to go. So I'm not going to do any uh, advertising between uh, uh, BGP and OSPF. Let's actually check OSPF. I want to show you show IP uh, IP route OSPF. As you can see, OSPF. Okay. So we're learning some uh, intra area routes coming from the multi-layer switch here, right? Coming from here. That's it, okay? So uh, to show IP interface brief. So now it's time to actually create the tunnel interface, okay? That's the, uh, that's uh, what, that's the, um, the, what is, the video all about right okay are you ready let's go interface tunnel zero right so the first thing is to create the tunnel zero we are going to give it an ip address let's say um uh, okay tunnel zero i'm going to first delete this uh, gibberish in here okay let's use um well, let's use uh, probably, uh, okay, we can use dot 10, right? So on the tunnel here, I'm going to use the 10 dot, let's say 0 dot 0 dot um, 1 right there. Uh, on this guy, we're going to use uh, 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2, right? 
here we're going to use dot three and here we're going to use dot let's say dot four right there uh, we're going to use slash uh, so the uh, okay zero dot zero dot uh, zero slash uh, let's say 29 okay 29 so six IP addresses are uh, pretty much enough for this topology and let's go ahead and do that so IP address is 10.0.0.1 mask okay is uh, 248 right 248 and no shut down okay followed by tunnel source okay tunnel source the tunnel source will be the um, okay so it's gigabit let me uh, make sure tunnel source to show IP in a face brief here we go so we are actually uh, this is by the way serial interface that I'm using right here okay so this is a uh, serial zero slash or three slash zero okay three slash zero on both sides three slash zero so let's go to uh, okay source uh, tunnel source it's serial three slash zero this interface right here okay it's configured with this IP address slash zero and the tunnel, okay, tunnel mode GRE. We are gonna say, we are not gonna say tunnel destination because this is the hub and we need to reach all, okay, the, uh, the spokes via NHRP, okay, the next hop resolution protocol. So we are not gonna be specific about destination. This is a GRE multi point, okay, and here we go. And after that, what we need to do, we need to enable NHRP, NHRP, okay, map. And then we are gonna set it to multicast and dynamic. So to allow the uh, NHC spokes to dynamically discover the logical VPN IP to the physical NBMA or non-broadcast multi-access uh, IP mapping and so on, okay? So uh, I think we need to also NHRP network ID. So let's say network ID, let's use um, network ID 65 right there. Okay, network ID, you show run interface tunnel zero. Let's make sure everything is configured correctly. And the most important things that we need to actually uh, talk about is the uh, because we are going to run OSPF so we need to uh, to actually talk about a couple of things one of them is IP okay IP NHRP NH NH I mean NHRP okay redirect redirect right okay we need to enable this okay ip and sharp redirect so when actually the uh the spoke okay want to reach the other spokes it can actually redirect it via nhrp so instead of coming to the hub okay and then looping around and going to the spoke it can actually redirect it straight to the go okay like this it's like we are fully meshing uh, the uh, connectivity between the branch routers okay and that's the purpose of this command the second command that we are going to do also and uh, yeah since we are using an HRP redirect IP redirect we need to use a command and this command is called ip okay ip uh, ip here okay uh, ip nh nhrp shortcut okay short cut like this okay on those okay clients so 
they can actually go straight, as I mentioned, instead of going to the hub and looping around. Okay. So, um, okay, so we do that. Next one, actually, uh, okay. Okay, let's, um, I think that's it regarding the tunnel uh, configuration. So, do show, let's check the tunnel status, show IP interface brief right there. And here we go. So the tunnel actually is right there and it's up. So let's start with uh, branch one. As you can see, you show IP interface brief. So, uh, okay, we don't have tunnel interface. So interface, interface tunnel zero, as you can see, and IP address 10 0 0 dot, uh, we talked about two, right? Okay slash i mean slash 29 248 248 right here we go and no shut down and then uh the uh tunnel tunnel source okay and the tunnel source will be actually the uh dialer interface okay dialer interface one right so you show yeah i can see it right there so this is uh, have the dialer interface one and you can see we are getting ip interface from point to point over ethernet that we did in the last video if you miss this you could check it out it's labeled actually point to point over ethernet configuration and troubleshooting on YouTube, um, tunnel, okay, tunnel uh, mode, GRE multi point, and uh, okay, so uh, IPNHRP and IPNHRP shortcut, as I mentioned earlier, IPNHRP network ID, we use uh, six. 500 for network ID and IP NHRP. Okay, those are very important commands. Map. Okay, and here we can actually specify the uh, the tunnel interface of the hub right there. I mean the private. Okay, interface uh, the tunnel the IP address assigned to the tunnel interface, not the NBMA or the public uh, IP address. So. 10.0.0. Dot. me see why this is blinking like that. Okay. So, yeah, it sometimes it starts blinking the screen. I mean, that's, yeah. Uh, okay. So, that one. And then the NBMA address, which is 192.0.2. Uh, 2. Let's make sure. Uh, about that I'm gonna go to the uh, okay so yeah it's not too right the right here yeah okay it's not too so uh, branch office blinking again What's wrong with this I mean okay so here we go and then IP and HRP map multicast okay and then followed by the nbma or public uh, ip address right now so 192.0.2.2 here we go and we configured uh i think shortcut we did the usual run in phase tunnel zero tunnel zero right there here we go. So we configured the map. Okay, so this is the mapping. We are mapping the private IP address on the tunnel to the public NBMA address. Okay, right here, which is reachable through the ISP. Uh, we are actually mapping the multicast uh, IP. Okay, this is the public uh, IP address. We are actually uh, pointing to the network ID, okay? By the way, uh, you could have multiple, okay? 
an HRP, that's why you need to specify the same ID that the hub that's configured on the hub. This is a little bit annoying, I'm sorry for that. Uh, source DLR1 IP and HRP shortcut tunnel mode jury multi point. I think at this point, I think we are good. So let's um, to show um, DM VPN detail. Okay, I mean detail here. And probably uh, everything looks uh, up, down, never. So what is the um, okay? I think that's everything probably. Okay, uh, that's pretty much everything. So uh, any sharpie map, the tunnel map, and so. On. So let's try to go to the um, to the hub router. Okay. Do ping let's ping 10.0.0.2 and if the ping is not successful which means there is something wrong with the tunnel right we are not establishing the tunnel do show IP route do show IP route let's see if we can actually ping do ping 192 Zero dot two dot six here. I mean dot six, right? It's pingable from the uh, headquarter, which means um, okay. We're setting the uh, tunnel source at dialer interface one. Okay, um, branch one. Let's check. Let's do do show do show DM VPN. Okay, detail on this guy here. Here we go. Never and uh, do show run interface tunnel zero. No IP redirects. Okay. IP address map dynamic. IT I think matches IP and it should appear with direct tunnel source and tunnel mode jury multi point. I think we are we did tunnel usual running face tunnel zero on the branch. We should IP interface brief. So the dialer interface is right there, is up. Let's actually try to ping the um, 192.0.2.2. Sure enough, we can ping it. Uh, okay, tunnel source, IP shortcut. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot the one command interface tunnel zero IP NHRP. NHS server right there, so it's uh, okay. It's this guy right here. So do ping um, 10.0.0.2 at this point, and sure enough, right there. So let's do uh, show DM VPN detail. Here we go, and as you can see, right here. So the uptime. Okay, it's uh, actually showing some numbers in here, which means it's up and running. That's the configuration, okay, uh, between the uh, HQ and spoke one right here, okay? So uh, let's go back, uh, let's copy uh, branch do show run, okay, interface tunnel zero, okay? So I'm going to copy the template paste. So what we can do is copy and paste in here. Let's paste this and modify the IP address to three for branch two. Uh, 
uh, no IP redirects. Okay, so uh, the same, the same, the same IP shortcut dialer interface. It's dialer interface two, I think, and tunnel is a multi point GRE or GRE multi point. I'm gonna exit. Okay, let's hop back to the uh, go to run uh, BRL2 paste and here we go we get to normally shouldn't include the end right there so to show IP interface brief as you can see the tunnel came up duping 10.0.0.1 sure enough we can ping it to show DM VPN details and sure enough the vpn is up and running so uh the tunnel is good let's actually modify the configuration again and paste it on the branch three so we're using dialer number three on branch three we're using uh the ip address that we talked about is uh, dot four for the tunnel right and yeah that's that's pretty much it so here we go copy and let's go to the branch we routed there and a paste and here we go do show IP interface brief do show DM VPN this is very important command okay and as you can see we can let's do two ping Okay, 10.0.0.1 and sure enough we can ping the hub. So we establish channel interface between the hub and the spokes. At this point we need to configure so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna delete this gibberish right here and let's go to uh, okay delete all here right and I'm gonna actually uh, what we're going to do, we are going to enable OSPF right here on all the, those routers here, right? And we are going to enable OSPF uh, actually on the tunnel interface. So tunnel 0, okay, and tunnel 0 on all those interfaces right here. But there are some uh, very important commands that need to be done in order uh, actually in order to for the hub and the spokes to exchange some routes right so uh, let's let's go sorry let's go back to the command line so what we're gonna do right now let's start from the uh, headquarter here right so on the headquarter the most important thing is to set the OSPF okay as a stop and the area between the hub and the spokes need to be some area different okay than area zero okay different area okay than area zero and okay the area need to be a stop area let's actually uh so we're gonna do a stub okay area here and we're going to do the stub area right here and the area that we're going to configure is area 51 something different than we cannot set all those okay the hub and spokes in area zero backbone area we can't do that in actually hub and spokes uh, configuration so let's go back to the uh, headquarter office router so uh do show run show run a section ospf let's see our configuration ospf so do show ip ospf ip ospf and face let's say brief so we are running ospf just on the uh, this interface right here connected to the switch okay so I'm gonna go to router OSPF1 and I'm gonna say 
Okay, so um, I don't need to do anything on the OSPF actually. Yes, oh yeah, right there. So I'm gonna say area 51 stub, okay? And question mark, I can use no summary, okay? If you wanna send just actually the uh, OSPF default route because um, those branch offices, they don't care about all those OSPF, okay, uh, VLANs that we created here, right? So we have a bunch of uh, routes that we'll send. So instead, we'll actually send a default route, okay, via OSPF by using uh, default originate command and then OSPF process, okay? Let's do that. That's why we are not using the uh, summary. So stop and no summary. There we go. And I think uh, that's it. Let's go under the uh, interface tunnel, interface tunnel, and then uh, interface tunnel zero, IP OSPF one, area 51 right there. Another thing that I actually remember, so, um, and it's very important. So, uh, as you can see here, we have a point to a multi-point right here. So, point to multi-point. So, uh, we need to change the network type, network type in OSPF. So, the network type need to be a point to multi-point. Okay, multi-point, okay, as well as the uh, priority of uh, those actually tunnel interfaces need to be set to zero, okay, priority zero here, zero here, and zero on the branch one router as well, and this will be the DR for all, okay the interfaces so which will be priority of one the default one and those they will be okay we need to stop them from doing the uh, dr bdr election okay and let's do that right there so ip ospf priority um i don't need to do it here so basically that's it i mean okay you show run show run um, section OSPF uh, IP, yeah, I forgot to do it, so tunnel zero so let's actually go back with the arrow IP um, OSPF network point to multi-point okay, point to multi-point right there Okay, uh, there are five modes in OSPF. We have point to point, point to multi point. We have a broadcast, non broadcast, multi access, and a zone. So, uh, this is actually a huge topic. Uh, if you have, uh, you don't understand it fully, you could actually look, you could check it out. Okay. Uh, OSPF and network types. So uh, do show. Let's do show. Um, run section OSPF. Do show IP OSPF interface brief. So as you can see, we have two interfaces. One is in area zero. Okay. And the other one is in area 51 okay okay area 51 it's a weird name I mean that's some area that's okay located near the uh, I mean uh, uh, Bermuda Triangle or something like that I'm joking guys uh, let's uh, okay that's probably that's it so Let's go to the uh, branch one router. Let's do, do show IP protocols. We have uh, no protocols configured, so router OSPF 
one. Okay, and then let's actually uh, let's just run right d one dot one dot one dot one dot one for this guy. Or probably let's use two since we're using the two. Okay, and let's do area. Okay, fifty one stop right there. Yeah, I forgot something in here. Okay, uh, interface tunnel zero. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I forgot something. Let's do it before I forget about it and start troubleshooting again. Now there is PF um, one. So what we're gonna do, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna send the default route, okay, via OSPF to all branch uh, routers. So what we need to do is we need to go and the OSPF process default, okay, information originate right there, okay. There we go. I think we are done on the headquarter uh, router. On the branch, we set up the area 51 to stop area. And then I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna actually advertise both interfaces. We could use interface range for that. So interface range tunnel zero and probably loopback zero. I didn't create it yet, so I'm gonna create it. And then fast Ethernet zero slash zero interfaces right there. IP OSPF. Okay, IP OSPF. Mm -hmm. One area 51 right there. Okay. We'll operate in this uh, IP configured. Okay, area 51. If you show run interface tunnel, face tunnel zero, check the tunnel interface. As you can see, we set up the OSPF here, and I'm gonna go to okay, interface loop zero, IP address um, 2.2.2, and set it to a host with slash 32. Exit and let's go to rather OSPF OSPF one. And then uh, what I'm gonna do passive interface okay fast Ethernet zero slash zero and then passive interface loopback to zero right. Don't want to send messages to uh, our LAN via OSPF. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I need to go to interface tunnel and do the same IP OSPF network type is point to multi point right there. Okay, as you can see right here, we establish an adjacency. Okay, uh, using the tunnel between the branch one and the headquarter router right there let's do do show ip route um do show ip route ospf um see this man that's i mean that's that's mind-blowing I mean, that's crazy that's why i love doing this i love you know uh, networking i mean there are concepts that's actually you just you know you configure it and then you start wondering how does it work i mean that's yeah that's crazy so uh as you can see we get the um uh, we get ospf okay default route via ospf so let's try to ping here let's do ping for example um i'm gonna ping 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 what uh, I have actually switch four, okay. You show IP, show IP interface brief, okay. So um, yeah, I'm configuring a couple of uh, interfaces. Uh, IP default router for gateway. Let's set it to one seventy two dot twenty dot one dot one. Okay, and yeah, 
Okay, uh, let's try to ping it probably uh, from the branch, from the branch one, right? Uh, I don't want to ex uh, extend it ping, so do ping, do ping, I think I used 172.20.1.1 and sure enough, man, that's crazy, that's, that's mind blowing, that's crazy. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna delete this stuff. So what happened here? I can actually ping from uh, this router all the way to okay this network right here using the okay the tunnel interface. So we have a couple of topologies. We have uh, point to point over Ethernet, right? And we have BGP and we have OSPF. So uh, I mean that's 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 crazy poetry. Yeah. So uh, one thing left because I um, can see that's making the video a little bit a little bit more. Uh, I want to keep it short, but I'm gonna just show you. Okay, the configuration on the branch to router of the OSPF, so router OSPF, OSPF um, 1, uh, let's go to the router ID, uh, let's say 3.3.3.3, .3 okay, here we go, and face loop 0, 3, I mean IP address 3.3.3.3, .3 .3 .3. let's use a host IP address, Go back to router OSPF OSPF one OSPF one right there uh, area fifty one stub okay I just configured loopback to don't forget it because I'm setting it as the router ID and what we can do here we can actually network we can use network command to uh, enable okay 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. we go easy okay on this and area area 51 here and then network uh, yeah so by doing this I'm actually advertising the LAN interface as well as actually set the OSPF on the channel so uh, passive interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 mean zero slash zero passive interface loopback zero I'm gonna advertise the loopback zero network three 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 zero 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 area or oh, area fifty one right there okay we issue area stub and uh, let's go to the uh, the tunnel interface the face tunnel the face tunnel zero so IP OSPF one area fifty one mm, yeah let's let's keep it just keep it because um yeah just want to do different configurations so IP OSPF priority zero IP OSPF okay network um this is blinking again network uh, is point to multi-point right there we should see the neighbor or adjacency come up right now I mean come on it's still blinking so yeah there we go so you show uh, come on Show IP route, right? IP route OS OSPF. And okay, so we're getting some OSPF routes as you can see because we are advertising the yeah, okay. So we're getting default routes, so duping 172.20 this is really annoying. I need to figure out a way to uh, okay twenty. That's 
So please, if somebody knows how to uh, actually stop this, please send me a comment down on the video or yeah, as you can see right there, we can actually reach, okay, through, okay, the ISP and can reach the headquarter lands that are actually behind the headquarter run right there using the uh, tunnel interface. If I will do to show IP or SPF neighbors, you can see we are establishing a GCC over the tunnel zero interface. So, uh, but the most important thing now, uh, let's see if we can actually uh, reach show IP routes, okay, to 6.10, 16.1.0. Not in table, but we have default. I mean, uh, okay, we decide the route. Okay, I can see uh, all 10 network right here. So I'm learning 10.2, 10.3, which is okay. There's interfaces here, so to reach this, send it to. Let's do the um, 10.16.1.1. And sure enough, let's do trace, do trace route and see if the packet goes straight, as I mentioned earlier, exactly. Yeah, how amazing. I mean, that's that's uh, yeah, that's what I was expecting actually, and everything it looks um, fine. So instead of going through the hub and looping around and going back, we actually can do it just like this. So when I'm pinging this uh, land right here, I'm going straight, okay, because of the configuration that we did so far. Uh, regarding the uh, branch office 3 so we demonstrate how to do that okay so we can also configure this one and we can reach both of them so we are fully meshing okay topology to wrap up things that we talk about we configure the hub and spokes okay uh, topology using OSPF and actually BGP to actually allow the headquarter to access those uh, interfaces here in, instead in order to establish a tunnel interface and then over the tunnel we actually configure OSPF. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.